I am Letitia Wright. I am one of the lead actors in the movie Aisha. Things follow you. You know, when I was a kid, I was always listening to like Backstreet Boys and like watching uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or Family Matters and trying to reenact these scenes in my front yard in uh, South America, in Guyana. For me, it was just connectivity with a teacher in my primary school that saw a talent in me and she encouraged me to go into acting classes like after school. So I did that and then slowly but surely I started to find myself in more and more acting classes and I think a profound time for me was a, a summer when, you know, you, you don't have <laughs> much friends around you but you're just stuck at home with, I don't know if you guys remember LimeWire um, <laughs> and I just watched like movies and I've stumbled upon this movie called Akeel and the Bee and it was really inspiring for me. I felt like I could be an actor. I saw someone portray something and a character that was so positive and impactful on the world and impactful upon me. I wanted to be a part of that world and that's how I started acting. I am um, Guyanese. There's a couple of words um, in Guyanese culture that people, you know, if you're not from the culture, you wouldn't understand, like galang your way. It's very insulting. <laughs> it means you're stupid. And it's just, just, you know, when someone's having an argument and, you know, these things come up, it's just our way of communicating. I would say that speaking up is more powerful than remaining silent. And that could be for every aspect of life sharing um, how I feel and expressing myself and communicating how I feel is healthier than remaining silent. What is for me will not pass me by and if it passes me by, it's not for me. I love that London was, and still is, a melting pot of different cultures and communities. I love that I could walk down my road in Tottenham and see people that look like me, you know what I mean? And then go to another part of, of town and. It just has another accent, another vibe. It's a melting pot of not only culture um, and ethnicities, but religions and opinions and, and music. Uh, so I love London for that. I'm always home. I always love London.